morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Asian Bankers Association and the State Bank of India, allow me to welcome all of you to Mumbai. Thank you very much for joining us here at the 34th General ABA meeting and conference. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, it is certainly a distinct honor and privilege to be a part and serve as your master of ceremony for this grand event. Justice and morals, mercy and compassion, love and nonviolence, mutual understanding and harmony, all these have a prominent place in Indian culture. India is now a land of opportunities, and these opportunities are ever growing with the dynamism of reforms introduced in the past few years, with the promise of even more reforms to come. This combination of reforms juxtaposed with the unique Indian advantage of a young population will only enable India to witness further growth and prosperity in the years to come. Let's talk about the journey of the State Bank of India. George Bernard Shaw once said, progress is impossible without change, and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. We at the State Bank of India believe this mantra have been consciously following it. We are one of the oldest financial institutions of India with roots tracing back to the year 1806. With a sterling legacy of over 200 years, we at SBI are now serving more than 42 crore customers across the globe. We are present in 35 countries with more than 200 offices. The traditions of our glorious past continue to be upheld even to this day as we continuously innovate ourselves to meet the emerging challenges of the current century. With our rich heritage and extensive contribution to society at large, both business-linked and non-business related, with an ever-increasing focus now on digital initiatives, we can proudly proclaim ourselves as the digital banker to every Indian. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the day's proceedings, I request all of you to kindly log on to Pigeonhole Live for posting your questions and also casting your votes for the questions raised during the proceedings. If you have a smartphone, a laptop, or a tablet, just launch your internet browser and type www.pigeonhole.at. I repeat, www.pigeonhole.at. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move on to the proceedings for the day. The very session of this year's annual gathering is Discover ABA Session. The theme for this year's conference is Asia's Turn to Transform. And now I'd like to invite the Managing Director, Corporate and Global Banking, State Bank of India, Mr. B. Sriram, to kindly set the theme and deliver his opening remarks, please. Mr. B. Sriram, please, let's have a huge round of applause for him. Thank you, Mr. Sriram, for your remarks. They certainly provide an appropriate setting for the theme for this year. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now proceed to the Discover ABA session. As a brief background, the Discover ABA session was first started six years ago during the 28th ABA General Meeting and Conference held in Colombo, Sri Lanka in 2011. Its primary aim is to provide ABA members the opportunity to know, understand, and learn more about each other. Every year, selected bank members are invited to make country presentations focusing on each other's economies and financial markets, as well as to introduce their respective organizations and their activities. And we are pleased to announce that the best country presentation award based on the participants' poll would be announced during the closing ceremony tomorrow. So for this year's session, we have requested three banking institutions to make their country presentations and to help us in this endeavor, we have invited Mr. Andrew Healy, Managing Director and CEO, Bank of Maldives, to chair this session. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to invite Mr. Healy to now take over the floor. Mr. Healy, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we can now take about two questions. We have time for the Q&A, and Mr. Rodrigo will be happy to answer the questions for you.
Thank you, Mr. Rodrigo, for that wonderful presentation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I'd like to remind you, you can post your questions online on uh, Pigeonhole Live. The address is www.pigeonhole.at. Thank you. Uh, next, I have the privilege of inviting on stage our next presenter, Dr. Cheng Cheng Mount. He is the Vice Chairman, Financial Supervisory Commission, Republic of China. Uh, requesting Dr. Cheng Cheng Mount to please join us and give his presentation. Can we have a huge round of applause for please? Thank you, Dr. Mount. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, due to paucity of time, we'd be able to take about two questions per presentation. Uh, next, maybe invite Mr. Oliver Hoffman, Managing Director, Head of Asia from Earth Group Bank AG to please give his presentation. Can we have a huge round of applause for Mr. Hoffman, please? Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. Ladies and gentlemen, now we'd like to invite everyone for a coffee break outside the conference venue. Can you please be back in time for the next country presentation. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to inform you at this point that we have arranged for an optional complimentary Mumbai Heritage Walk. If you wish to register for that, please do so until 3 p.m. today. Thank you so much. Enjoy your coffee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>